Well hello and welcome to my latest video and we're not in the workshop uh, at the moment we're out uh, in the yard as I think the Americans call it or as we here in England call it a garden and the reason we're outside here and you can see the bike here this is a gravel bike and the gravel bike is on the gravel bike stand and the reason we're out here is because I wanted to go through with you about how to clean your gravel bike because you've You've spent a lot of money to buy a gravel bike, you've fallen for all the adverts, and you want to make sure that you keep it in pristine condition. So, um, first of all, you'll see that the gravel bike here has got gravel bike mud guards on it. Normally I would take these, I wouldn't take these mud guards off, but I'd take the wheels off, and I'd take off this, uh, this tool bottle here, I'd take off this pump here, I'd take off any light straps here, so I wouldn't leave anything on the bike that I didn't want to uh, actually get clean. So then the next thing I would have to do is I get my, I get my gravel bucket. Now you can use uh, an ordinary bucket, uh, but I found actually that ASOS, ASOS do a special uh, gravel bucket which costs £39. It's like an ordinary bucket, um, but without a handle. But uh, it's ideally and specially designed in laboratories in Switzerland for cleaning a gravel bike. And what I've put in here, I don't know if you can see this, I'll, I'll hold it up close to the camera. I've actually put in there some gravel water. Now, it's very important that you only use uh, gravel water. You can use you can use Evian water if you really don't have any gravel water. You can use sparkling water. I wouldn't use I wouldn't use Volvic or I wouldn't use an own branded water. They're not very good for the the delicate components and the paintwork that you find on a gravel bike. So use use the special gravel water, and then it, you 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 need some brushes. But first of all, you want to get some some gravel bike cleaner. This is. Uh, this is by Muckoff, other brands are available, but you must make sure that it's specially formulated for gravel bikes because an ordinary uh, bike cleaner or a, a fairy liquid, other brands of uh, detergent are available, um, they're, they're not going to be so good for your gravel bike. They're not going to give it the, the sort of shine and the sheen that you really want so that you can impress your mates when you're out on the, on the rugged trails. So, so do get the proper bespoke gravel bike cleaner. Put some of that gravel bike cleaner into your bucket or you can spray it direct onto your bike. I'm not going to actually clean my bike now because you know what it looks like to, to wash a bike. So I'm just going through some of the basics. The other things that you need are a gravel brush. Now I have here a, a special a special gravel brush. Um, this one is not cheap. Um, 27 pounds um, and you can only use it on a gravel bike it doesn't work on an ordinary bike I have tried it uh, I have a uh, I have a Mason uh, I have a giant giant bike really really large bike um, but this gravel brush doesn't work on that bike so do make sure you get the gravel brush here's a smaller here's a smaller gravel brush so that you can get into some of those more hard to reach places like here or here or, or underneath the saddle or, or down here uh, anywhere where you want to actually clean the bike effectively so let's imagine that I've given the, the gravel bike I've given it a good good old gravel scrub and I've got all the I've got all the dirt and the burrs and the, uh, the, the dead rabbits and some of the other vermin that you find in the forest when you're doing your gravel bike riding and I've knocked off some of the boulders and the twigs and, and the, the dead birds and all the kind of stuff that, that collect particularly under the bottom bracket. It's very important that when you're cleaning your, your gravel bike that you get right under, right under, underneath that that bottom bracket because you may find there are there are weasels there are uh, there are otters there, there are possibly a badger or a fox something like that that's got wedged under the bottom bracket you don't want that there the next time you go out on your gravel ride so let's imagine we've cleaned all the bike off okay it's nice and nice and pristine few drops of water on there only gravel water remember um so we're going to then we then get a cloth and we we wipe it down so it's nice and dry and then I've got this special, this is a uh, finish line uh, gravel bike showroom 
polish and protection. And the, the reason for that is you can then spray it on your bike. I'm going to spray it on now because I don't want to waste this stuff. It's quite expensive. It costs uh, £69 this, but a, a bottle or a can of this goes quite a long way. I've, I've cleaned as many as four bikes or, or polished as many as four bikes using this special finish line uh, gravel polish. And I've got a, a special... Uh, this, is a, this is a gravel bike uh, buff or a, a gravel bike polisher a uh, special one 1999 you can get it on ebay uh, make sure you put in that you want the uh, the yellow color with the with the nice red edges and preferably already impregnated with a, with a bit of dirt because that makes it that makes it work nicer so you spray the polish on and you get your your special gravel buffing cloth and you you brush it all down like that and it's nice and clean and hey presto you've got uh, you've got a nice and clean bike there's one bit that uh, uh, I, I didn't uh, I didn't show you and that's uh, a little this is a special little special gravel brush this this one's by uh, Hilker quite cheap actually this one was only uh, only 16 pounds uh, got it on eBay but it allows you to to clean the chain here you can see me cleaning the chain um, cleaning the the cassette there maybe cleaning the the derailleur really getting that that gunk and that and that crap and that filth like other kinds of dirt are available but making sure you get everything off the bike so then you can go out uh, next weekend or, or this weekend even you can go out with your friends you can go out on the trails if you can find some gravel trails and uh, you've got a, you've got a wonderfully clean bike and all of your friends are going to say my 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 how did you get such a clean bike and you say well look i watched I watched Julian's video. Uh, I, I bought all the equipment, only came to £150. Uh, quite cheap, really, because now I've got the best gravel bike in the uh, Western Hemisphere, or even on the Eastern Hemisphere. Or is it Northern or Southern? Not quite sure which. Anyway, that's how you clean your gravel bike. Hope you found this uh, particular uh, instructional video uh, useful. There are other videos on YouTube about how to clean your bike. I suggest you ignore those because some of them uh, give rather mixed messages and some of their advice isn't entirely accurate. But mine is, make sure you follow it. And if you, if you follow it and you clean your bike and you have a nice, pristine, clean uh, gravel bike, why don't you post a picture of it? Yes, post a picture. Well, that was odd. I was in the middle of talking and uh, the camera cut out. I don't know what happened there. So what I was saying was uh, clean your bike, uh, use all the gravel, gravel specific materials, as I've described, uh, and take a few pictures. Post them on Instagram, uh, hashtag gravel bike cleaning, and uh, everybody can uh, comment on them. And you can, uh, uh, you can build up your social media profile with pictures of your nice clean gravel bike. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, if you want to make any comments down below, uh, please do so. Uh, just one thing, uh, try and avoid uh, grumpy old boomer. Uh, that one's already been done. Uh, opinionated bore. Uh, that one's already been done as well. Um, these videos are mostly drivel. That one's been done as well. So if you do want to say anything unpleasant, and I do like the unpleasant ones, they always give me a good laugh. Uh, I have a, a little cry shortly before I go to bed, but they do give me a good laugh up until then. So if you want to say anything unpleasant, please do so. I, uh, I like the unpleasant comments as well as the nice comments. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, please keep uh, subscribed to my channel, and I'll see you next time, hopefully.